Hi, I'm Jason, designated broker of SJC Management Group. And I just wanted to give a quick update to all of our clients about kind of how the market's going. It's now uh, coming up on the end of July, 2023. And um, we do have a couple of new laws that have gone into effect as of the 23rd. So they went into effect uh, as I'm recording this yesterday. One is a statewide law that deals with security deposits and is a change um, kind of in how we have to handle security deposits. And the other one is a city of Tacoma ordinance that went into effect um, that does make some significant changes, but those only affect properties that are in the city limits of Tacoma. So they're in, included in this email is a link to those, um, to some videos I did about those kind of with some information there as well. Overall, the rental market, what we're seeing um, is it, this is the active time of the year. So there's a lot of activity going on. We have seen an increase in supply on the housing side um, of available homes for rent because the in, as interest rates have, have raised, a lot of sellers have looked at their property and said, you know, I have a good rate on it. I've owned it for a while. It may make sense to hold on to this as a long-term investment. Uh, so we're seeing a little bit more inventory than before. Now, I think inventory is keeping up with supply. I think supply and demand are, are fairly even on the market. It's just coming out of the last couple of years where supply was so low and demand was so high um, that it has made an adjustment on the market as far as days on market. So we're seeing about a little less than 30 days on market currently um, on the rental market. And that's actually pretty similar to what we're seeing on the sales side as well. Uh, we do have a sister company that does sales uh, and, and I'm involved in some sales uh, for buyers and, and a lot for sellers. Um, and we're seeing about kind of the same market time. Uh, there, we're seeing a little bit decrease in available inventory, but also a decrease in kind of buyer activity because those interest rates are higher. Uh, it does cost the buyer a lot more uh, for that mortgage if you're starting a new mortgage right now. Um, and that's, you know, kind of circle goal on why the rental market has sort of seen flat rent rates year over year. So that doesn't mean that rents are still not historically up from where they've been. Just over, you know, from July of 2022 to now, um, we're seeing maybe even a slight decrease in things on the market or kind of flat rate where things are renting at a pretty similar rate to what they had rented for uh, or at the same rate at what they had rented for uh, last year. That doesn't mean that if you've had a property that you know has been occupied for a long time, uh, that there isn't room for rent increases or rent increases aren't, um, you know, justified. Most of the rent increases uh, that we did on on any of the tenants that have been there for a while have actually gone into effect or go into effect next month. Um, so you may be seeing that on your account. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. You know, we're here to help. If you ever want to. Uh, buy or sell property, we can help with that aspect as well. Or if you're just curious what your property, you know, how it's doing, what it may be worth on the market, um, we can help with a, you know, market analysis and give you an idea on that. Again, I'm Jason with SJC. If any of you guys need anything, please let me know. Thanks.